Hello everyone, uh, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm going to walk you through the class Reflective Writing Blog. As you can see, there are now five headings. Home is where you'll get all the homework. Homework, where you get the explanations and how to do the homework with some summaries for each month or for two months. Writing tutorials, where you will learn how to write and you should follow these tutorials for each essay writing that you do and some tutorials on how to blog. Let's start with the writing tutorial. Okay, this is how your writing should be. You should first of all write your name, the class. This is to hand in after you print it. The audience, who is the essay intended for, the date the topic, what is the topic, thesis statement, what is the point of view that you're trying to uh, write about, research question, what questions do you want to answer, then you begin your writing. The first paragraph, there are four, you write an introduction where you introduce the topic, your point of view, in three sentences. And then you give examples in paragraph 2, some more examples in paragraph 3. Each paragraph must have at least three sentences and then your conclusion in the final paragraph which is paragraph 4 with your personal opinion summary and again at least three sentences. So each of your comments on the class blog will look like that. Now there are two kinds of writings. You will first write on the in the class blog in reflective writing under each of the comments and then you'll copy and paste it on your own personal blog over here. Okay, here are your personal blogs. Instructions for students. Please follow these instructions after you read about the homework. So there's a lot of reading and this is really good for you because after all you are practicing real reading, okay, which is called authentic or real reading. So read all the steps, seven steps. Go right through them, please. And then here is your list of assignments for September and October, and these should be finished by the end of October, no later. And you get grades for these. Okay, so first introduce yourself, reflect on the first English lesson. You've done these two. This number three, four, five, and six. You haven't done seven, you've done already. Eight, I've told you to do, and number nine is actually new. So go through all of them. You start by clicking on these links. Okay, they'll take you to a little bit of reading, sometimes not. This is the introduction. You've already introduced yourself. All you have to do is add your comment in four paragraphs about yourself. You've written this, you just copy and paste it. Once I check it, I will give you uh, approval and then you'll be able to copy back and paste it with the corrections, my corrections, on your individual blogs. If you have any questions at any time, you'll be able to contact me by filling in this form. Okay, and feel free to use any language. I will answer in English because that's the only language I write well in. And Let's um, continue with the homework and instructions. You'll notice that in the instructions it also t explains what I just explained to you and a little more. You can also click on contact me here and you'll get the same form but maybe a little bit bigger and easier to fill in. Okay, so that's it. If there are any questions, please, on every page, contact me, fill in the form. If you have any questions about the lessons in class, about blogging, about anything, okay? So feel free to contact me if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to answer. The more you write and ask questions, the more you'll learn. Remember what we did today with the KWHL and follow it carefully. What do you know so far about what I've told you? What do you want to know? If you want to know anything, please contact me. Okay, so that's how you do it. And once you learn, you'll be able to write everything in your blog. Notice that you have to reflect on every lesson in the blog. Here you don't have to write too much. And you don't have to share it with me. Just add it to your blog. So every lesson, reflect on the English lesson.
You can also reflect on other things if you wish. That would be great. But you do have to reflect on every lesson that we do in class. And remember how to reflect. You write what we did and how you feel about it and how you can improve your performance. Not mine, yours, okay? So how you can improve your performance. Thank you very much. Have a great holiday and see you in class and online. So this is Nellie Deutsch saying bye for now.